All right, we're going to be starting graphic design. No one knows what to do, so I'm going to show everyone exactly what to do. You just got fresh, you logged in. You're going to right click on your desktop. You're going to go to new folder. After you have clicked on new folder, you are going to left click on the folder. It's going to highlight it. You're going to call it graphic design. This is the beginning stages of creating a portfolio. All right. Now, after you have made a graphic design folder, just go into this folder. Inside the graphic design folder, you are going to right click with your mouse. You're going to go to new and you're going to make another subfolder. So a folder within a folder is a subfolder. This is going to be called car design. Now, I want to show you something. So now we have left click out of the box car design. So we can get out of here. We have a graphic design folder. Within here, you have car design. Now, here's how this works. You're going to go to this website right here, studentportfoliony.com. Right up here, studentportfoliony.com. You're going to notice when you go down here, here are your projects right here for graphic design. I'm adding more as we um, progress and no one ever repeats stuff, but I want you to start with the car design. When you click you're going to have car design, Andy Warhol, zombie. So when you click on car design, this is going to take you to the car design folder. Really quickly, I just want to emphasize something. Um, so this is the car, the car design page. It's got examples of other people's work on here. People did a really good job. So you click on the examples you can see before and after they took the class. You know, all took this project rather, right? So here you go. There's, this is nice, right, very nice right over here. One of my favorite ones over here. As, uh, as we progress, you're not supposed to have favorites, I know. So now as we come down, um, these are examples of everything that um, other people did. So now these are hotkeys. Every one of these pages in this website gives you main principles like hotkeys that you're going to need to know and stuff like that. So every time you guys go to another project, it's going to have the same thing on just a different project. In this case, you're starting with the car design. The car design has seven videos. This one only has um, the Andy Warhol, which will be your next project. You're not doing it. I just wanted to show you the page. It takes a minute to load, which is uh, a little frustrating for me. This here is the Andy Warhol page. And when you come down here, these are the hot keys you're gonna be learning. But the main thing is these are the video tutorials you're gonna know. I also put a bio about Andy Warhol. So when you click on this, it goes to his bio and it gives you some background information about him and stuff like that. But the main thing you're gonna really need to know is um, how to watch the tutorials. So watch. So there's always going to be a reference somewhere. Like in this case, it's the Andy Warhol. I went to the MoMA, the museum, um, the Museum of Modern Art, and it gives you a background about him. I urge you to learn a little bit about him before you start doing this particular project, all right? All right, that's it, the second project. Anyway, the first project, which is the car design right here, you are going to watch this first tutorial, and it's going to tell you exactly what to do, okay? So once you have started graphic design, you're going to do this. Make this graphic design folder. After you've made the car design folder inside of it, then you're going to get yourself a car. All right. And you're going to design a car. So here's how we start graphic design. Here is exactly how we begin this journey. All right. You made this folder. You made a subfolder called car design. Very good. Next one will be Andy Warhol and so on and so forth based on these projects right here in the home page. Right now we're doing car design. Do the projects in order. Do not jump over to the sneaker project because it's awesome. Because it is. Everyone does that. It drives me crazy. Because then you miss all these little skills in the middle that are essential to learning all the processes and concepts and tools in Photoshop. And Photoshop changed. They changed it again. You know, Photoshop is like Mercedes. They just make their changes without telling the general public because they want to. And that's okay. So you're going to start with video tutorial one and you're going to go through them. I am just going to show you guys exactly what to do to start this process right now. First things first, we're going to go and get a car. I went to Google. I got a BMW 6 Series. Um, it just has a nice image. Now, notice something. When you want to get a large image, you go to tools, you go to size, and you click on large. By doing this, it's going to get big images for you. I have a decent sized image. I'm going to copy this image. 
I'm going to open up Photoshop now. For the first time, I've put it on all of your tabs, on your uh, task bars. So you guys all have Photoshop right down here. You open it up, nicey nice, and you click right in here, and you guys are going to sign yourselves in, into here. You sign in into Photoshop, all right? Your Adobe account is right here. You make sure you sign in with your students.net account. I'm not going to get too involved in that because I already signed in. We're good. I'm going to go to new, first of all, let me backtrack. <coughs> Bless you. Right click, copy, get the image. Go into Photoshop, go to new file. You're going to notice the same size dimensions here, right here. And this is this is Photoshop 2024, all right, or 2023, whatever. Um, you're going to notice these dimensions right here. When you go into Photoshop, they're going to be the same one when you go to file, new. And you go to create. It's going to create those dimensions. All you got to do is go to edit, paste. All right. We have the image here. This is perfect. I am going to go to file, export, export as. And you're going to see formats here. Make sure it is a, um, oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. You're going to go to file. Please forgive me. You're going to go to file, save as. All right, you're going to go to the desktop. What folder did we make? It's called what? Graphic design. Guys, this is how you save your Photoshop files raw. You want to make sure you do this correctly. JPEGs and images are different. Photoshop files are saved this way. All right, it's my car design. So guess what? I am going to go into my car design folder, click on here, and I'm going to call this file car, car design. I'm going to hit save. Hit OK, and that's it. That's all I want you to do to start graphic design. Then we'll go to the uh, next video. Um, this is the way you start graphic design. This is your first video. All right. So now that we have this saved, it's done. I can actually get out of here. I can get off of everything. Get out of everything. All right. Bell rang. Go to your next class. Blah blah blah. Come in the next day. Open up your graphic design folder. You're going to open up which folder? The only one you created, car design. Guess what's in there? Your car design project. That's a Photoshop file. Photoshop 2023 opens up. Boom. I don't have to log in again. It picks up right where I left off. I'm great. Now we can start graphic design. Um, there was one other thing that I wanted to mention. To there is a problem, though. You guys, this year I got rid of the server. So that means that... This file right here, folder, excuse me, is going to get deleted because everyone who logs in to these computers, when they log in in the account, they're going to be able to see your stuff. And everyone's going to have graphic designs all over the place. So what you need to do is follow this video right here. Go to student portfolio. NY.com. And in studentportfoliony.com, on the very, very first page, I made a tutorial for you guys to save everything on a thumb drive. It's right here. This teaches you how to save to a USB drive. So when you click on this file, um, this button rather, it's going to open up to YouTube and it's going to take you to a tutorial that's going to teach you exactly how to back your stuff up on a thumb drive. This is the next thing that you need to do is back up your stuff on a thumb drive. And it teaches you exactly how to do it. All right, a lot of you, and it's a requirement, need to back up your file. I'm not going to watch the video in verbatim because you guys are going to watch it. So after you have done all of this, you set up the graphic design folder. You made a car design file, a uh, subfolder. You made a car design file within the subfolder in Photoshop. It's right here. You're good. Bell rang, time to go. We're dipping off to our next class. You're going to insert your thumb drive and you're gonna follow this video right here. Save to thumb drive. And you're backing up this, this one into your thumb drive. And that's all you guys need to do to start graphic design.